Welcome to Electron Line. Sometimes you see very strange velocity curves and then you realize most stars or most binary systems do not revolve around the barycenter in nice circular orbits. They have elliptical orbits. An example of that is the binary star system called Psi Cygni, which have about equal mass. M1 and M2 are about the same, but as you can tell here by the sketch, that sometimes they're much closer to the barycenter, sometimes they're much farther away, which means as they are closer, they move a lot faster. As they're farther away, they move a lot slower. So they have variable speeds. When you then look at the velocity curves, you can see that sometimes they seem to be traveling quite fast relative to the barycenter, and then they seem to be traveling much slower. And of course, they overlap. So now in this case, you have the receding velocity. So let's see if we can match this curve to what's going on here. Assuming that this is the line of sight, we're looking in this direction, and notice that in this case, M2 is receding, therefore we see positive velocities, and this is the fast velocity. That, so this here, if I assume this to be case one, that's what we see right here. So this here is the curve for M2 receding. This is the curve M1 that's approaching. So we have M1 over here, M2 over there. Then, as the stars then move over to the other direction where they're far away from the barycenter, now they move a lot slower. So in this case, this is approaching. So this is M2 approaching, which is what we would see over here. So again, this is the curve M2. And here we have M1 that's receding. And so we can say that's our curve M1. And so that's how you can imagine what is actually going on. So in the case that you have more elliptical orbits, you can see clearly that the velocities will not remain the same around the orbit, and you can then obviously pick it up on those uh, velocity curves as we see it. In this case, we have uh, a period of about 430 days, which is easily measurable over time. And that's how we know.